In late 2017, the Better Together update rolled out, merging a bunch of Minecrafts into one unified Minecraft, which left all the console Minecraft editions to be discontinued one by one in the next couple years. Although the base game was the same, one massive thing that did not carry over were the Battle, the Tumble, and the Glide minigames, mainly because servers exist now. But you know, let's ignore service for a second. These games are still unique, nostalgic, polished, and overall just goaded. But with less people playing Legacy Edition and more people getting Java or Bedrock, it left all these three games abandoned. But why don't these games exist today? I mean, it's just survival games, Spleef, and an Elytra game mode. I mean, it can't be that hard to recreate, right? R right? Let's start off with the first Legacy minigame. Battle is the closest thing we'll get to fully existing on Bedrock. There's a map on MCPDL by Ultimate Mario, where you can play an almost replica of battle mode. It has most of battle mode settings to customize the experience you're going for, such as the small inventory, central spawning, lives per round, round length, map voting, and other small things. It's actually really impressive how this was all done with just command blocks, resource packs, and behavior packs. I feel like this project is underappreciated, and it really shows what's possible in Bedrock Edition. As of the time of me making this, there's only the small versions of Cave, Cove, and Crucible. But if you look outside the map, there are the large versions of those maps as well as Dig, Temple, and uh, wait, what's this one called again? Castle? I think it's called Castle. With these maps existing on the world, it seems like this project was going to be continued, but unfortunately later on, the creator said that he has lost all motivation to continue working on it. He says that he might finish the large versions of Crucible and Cove some other time, but he has no plans on adding in some of the other maps because it takes too long to add in the maps, and there's no way to change the textures mid-game. There is a download for most of these battle maps, but getting a hold of these three maps is hard, and most of the maps are either missing the small version or the large version. But even with all of these missing maps, battle mode is still the most polished game that's on Bedrock. Overall, battle might be the easiest game to recreate. It's just that with how customizable battle is, and how especially the map related settings and the amount of maps there are makes it difficult. Additionally, a large amount of the battle maps have a texture pack attached to them, which you can't really get, nor can you change them mid-game. But unlike Glide, which I'll talk about later, the battle maps are way smaller, so theoretically you could utilize custom blocks if you really wanted these maps instead. I don't think about it, that's a lot of work. Tumble is the last game that's yet to be created on Bedrock Edition. Despite this, I don't think that it's that hard to recreate. There are map downloads of the Tumble arenas, so theoretically you could create your own Tumble game, but I think there's two reasons why it hasn't been done before. One, Tumble just has less demand compared to Battle and even Glide. Because Spleef is such a simple concept for a game, there's not really much demand for it to be recreated. On the other hand though, Battle Mode has demand due to how different it was, how well made it was, and how customizable it was. And with Glide, including both Time Attack and Score Attack simply just does not exist anywhere. The closest thing to Glide we have is this one marketplace map by 5 Frame Studios, but like, okay I'm not buying that. The other reason why I think it hasn't been done before is Tumble's nature. Tumble has multiple different modes, such as the Mixed Type and Tumble, where you would vote to have either shovels to dig or snowballs to throw. But there's also the custom mode where you'd be able to customize the amount of layers in the game, the size of them, and also throw in some levitation potions and firework rockets. These exclusive features can't really be done with command blocks, but with add-ons I feel like you could easily replicate some of these things like the firework rocket. With this though, I don't think it's the hardest game to recreate. Take block drop on the high for example. Instead of TNT run, imagine if the game was spleef, but the power-ups and such stayed. You can't recreate everything with just commands, but you can easily with add-ons. It's not the hardest thing to recreate on Bedrock Edition, it's just that it hasn't been done before. Although Glide is a game where there has been attempts to recreate it on Bedrock Edition. Psst. I see dead people. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not doing that. Psst. Guess what? Channel memberships. I just added channel memberships, so if you want to support me even further, consider checking it out. Actually, while you're at it, you know, help a brother out, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to get the 20k subscribers by the end of 2024. Anyways, back to the video. In late 2022, PrimeStrat attempted to recreate Glide for GM19's minigame reboot project. A few months later, me and a bunch of other YouTubers got to play test it. And here's some gameplay of it. Curve music? Well, how's Tub just like... Your mic yeah, my curve music. Why do I have clouds on? 
I'm on a wall and I advertise the local pizzeria. Oh, Speedy Gonzalez, right? I don't know. Uh oh. I don't know. I'm just trying to go fast, buddy. Oh. No, I'm doing good. I'm. Oh, shortcut. Wow. Lightning McQueen. This will, Ow. Ow. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. Oh. Crap. What no, about you? Can you do a kachow? No. Hold on. I'm gonna go the normal way so Prime can get some good visuals of not just the short. Okay. Uh, I'll take the I'm, yeah. I no. I should be doing it, but. Uh, okay, the shortcut you, doesn't you, work. Hang on. Yeah, you you can't really do it. The, the shortcut it doesn't work. Prime. Scamage. I already flew no, through first. Work. What do you mean? Oh my gosh, I was here like ten minutes ago. Oh, that's rough. Oh well. GG Kaifi. The reason this project was discontinued was because of two things. One, a large-scale project like this was too out of Prime's hands for Bedrock Edition. What? Well, how am I back the... here? What? Dog, <laughs> I'm finna be crucified after this one. With multiple map and character issues, everything would need an overhaul. And two, handling a high player count is difficult while keeping smooth performance. I mean, come on, man, you saw all the chunks not loading fast enough at the start. And you saw how everything was unloaded when I died. We've all heard that Bedrock Edition has better render distance and faster chunk loading. While that is true, even with some maps like Kraken where the builders purposely overlap the path as much as possible to fit in a smaller amount of space, chunk loading would still struggle. With more players thrown into the mix, decent optimization would be hard to maintain on servers. This is the reason why Minecraft servers haven't tried making an Elytra themed game mode on Bedrock Edition. Even if they made their own maps are smaller, sharp returns would probably have to be included to pad the runtime, which would mess up mobile and especially controller players. Like bro, like why the hell is your sensitivity this low when it's at 100? Which is the max by the way. Legacy Edition had its max at 200, why can't we have 200? Although this goes much deeper. Let me go over why recreating Glide is truly a difficult thing to accomplish. Let me start off with thermals. Thermals are the smoky bits that launch you into the air. Coding this doesn't seem like it would be the hardest thing ever, but there's a small little detail being the two types of thermals. There's the ones that launch you up no matter what you do, and then there's the ones that launch you depending on where you look. This, in a way, is important for the overall flow of maps. Speed boosts to me are the most important part of Glide, and it's a complicated subject. On the surface, it's just a boost that has a number assigned to it that determines how fast you go, and just like thermals, there are two types. There's the white and yellow ones, which force you to fly in the direction it's facing, and the orange and yellow ones, which you can fly through in any direction. These speed boosts exist to direct the player in more forceful situations. However, sharp returns tend to delay the speed boost because you haven't reached the maximum velocity of the speed boost. If I went through a speed boost and did a sharp turn, the speed boost wouldn't work in the same way like spamming a firework rocket with an elytra for example. If you look up in a very specific way or do 360s, you keep your momentum while not actually using the speed boost. In score attack, this allows you to backtrack and collect rings that are unobtainable such as all the ones in the beginning of temple. On time attack though, this allows speedrunners to delay the speed boost so you can get the speed boost in parts that are slower paced. For example, on Canyon, going up this part is extremely slow. And as you can see by this run by Glide Legend, he looks up and turns in a very specific way, and then he does 360s in a very loose way to keep as much momentum as possible without losing the speed boost. And then he looks down with the speed boost, having a peak of 50 meters per second with the 40 meters per second speed boost. As you saw, coding speed boosts the way 4GS did seems really difficult to replicate. And this is why the Glide reboot speed boost lacked chemistry. Another thing that needs to be accounted for are proper checkpoints and barriers. With barriers, it's pretty simple. I mean, you just gotta add something that lowers you when you get too high. But with checkpoints, you have to know what counts as a checkpoint and what doesn't. For example, on Shrunk, you just can't fly up here and skip the whole vent section. But on Dragon, you can fly over this very long section to complete the map in less than a minute. Overall, when coding the checkpoints in, you need to know the knowledge and chemistry of the glide maps. And speaking of maps, there are 12 glide maps, which getting a hold of them isn't the problem. Just like some of the battle maps, some glide maps also have a texture pack attached to them that you can't really get. Also, the Celts map in specific has an issue where the water in this section floods the map. This happens sometimes on Legacy Edition, and it happened immediately for me when I loaded the map in Bedrock Edition. 
Things such as vines would also have to be coded to not stop you from flying, as this ruins some shortcuts. So with all the little things about Glide, recreated Glide is near impossible. In the end, these games are difficult to recreate to its fullest, which is why besides Battle, they don't exist today. Battle is the closest thing to fully exist. It's just lacking some things such as most of the maps and the ability to choose the size of the maps. An attempt at recreating Tumble hasn't even been done yet, although it's not the most difficult game to recreate. And lastly, an attempt at recreating Glide was done, but making it function flawlessly is very difficult, and then replicating it how 4GS Studios intended it to play out is near impossible. Anyways, go check out one of my favorite videos on my channel, and really do consider becoming a channel member to support me. It really means a lot.